Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. In this video, let's bring you a closer look at the Bomber LB4382-400-632. Single acting, spring hinge, full mortise, residential weight, lube bearing, steel base, bright brass finish. So this, let's dissect the part number, LB, Bomber LB. LB stands for a maintenance-free sort of lube bearing here. 4382 is representative of the pattern, the pattern of holes on the hinge along with the 5 8 radius. That 4382 translates to the hinge required for general products. The name of the company or door system is general products, doors and frames, meaning that it has a special hole pattern, okay, and a 5 8 radius. 400, the next part of the part number means that it's a four inch by four inch hinge. The height always comes first on this hinge. Four by four. 632 means that it's in the bright brass finish. It's a steel base hinge with a bright brass plating on it. Available in several different finishes in the website. There is a link below this video to the template installation instructions and certifications and hinge selection guide. First of all, the template just shows everything important dimensionally about the hinge hole so that you can use that template prior to making a purchase to, to eliminate all the guesswork. Know that what you're getting is correct for you. If you have any trouble interpreting that template, feel free to reach out to us. Okay. Now, moving on, instructions. This is a single acting spring hinge. You can see from the swag on the hinge leaves that this hinge is meant to be flush when mortised to the edge of the door and to the frame. Single acting spring hinge. Single acting means it will work for either left hand doors or for right hand doors. Now that link to the uh, instructions simply shows how to set the tension. And those are printed on the back of the box. The hinge will likely come in as well. But if not, the link is there. You're gonna get with the hinge a tension rod, which is that black piece of steel. And you're gonna get a tension pin. There are two of them here shown because on this client's order there are two hinges. You only need one. What you do is you take your tension rod, poking it out of the back of the uh, package here, and you insert it into the tension collar, into one of those holes, and you turn it clockwise. When the tension collar is pointed up, you turn it clockwise. And it's into one of those new holes that I'm revealing there that you would insert a tension pin. And that's how you set the tension on the spring hinge. Very typical. Now, there is a guide in the extended description below this video showing how many hinges you would need based on your door weight in particular. So really what you're dealing with is doors up to three foot by seven foot. Anything bigger than that, you're probably not going to encounter that would take this hinge. If you've got an 85 pound door, Bomber recommends two spring hinges. And a 110 pound door, they recommend three spring hinges. Now, I'm a fan of all spring hinges or to be aggressive with the quantity of spring hinges. First, they're relatively inexpensive. But second, and most importantly, there's a significantly greater chance of success when you've got more springs doing the job on the door. Here's what I mean. You can put one spring hinge onto basically any door, and when you open it up, it'll start to bring it closed. The problem with that is the last 10 degrees or so of the closing cycle, if there's not enough stored energy in that spring, you kind of have trouble getting it to actually latch because you're taking a large door, you have to overcome the wind pressure that it's, the air pressure it's encountering, encountering, along with the friction of the latch as it hits the strike plate. Think of a tugboat, not really fast, but they can pull really hard. And that, I like to use that analogy thinking about spring hinges because I have found when installing and then adjusting and setting spring hinges, I get a greater amount of success when I've got all spring hinges on the door because I'm asking, I'm sharing that work more evenly between more springs and I can find that I don't have to overset the tension to get the door to swing so quick through the, through the closing cycle just to overcome that last few degrees that I can set everything down, get a little slower rate of control over the closing of the door and with enough torque, so to speak, to get that door to actually latch. Sometimes you've got to crank it up so high that the door needs to move so quickly just to peter out there and keep its inertia behind it, uh, that you'll have a door that slams or one that won't latch. And it's very likely that if you're using spring hinges, there could be a rating on the door, meaning a fire rating, which means it has to be self-closing, which this does, but it has to be self-latching. 
both of those situations have to be uh, accounted for with a uh, fire rating door of any rating, 20, even 20 minute, okay? So that pretty much covers up everything. The last thing I'd like to show you is the Bomber logo. Right above it, it says Made in USA. Now that's a fact that Bomber's quite proud of as am I to represent them. If you have any questions on the Bomber LB4382-400, dash 632 single acting spring hinge or any other bomber product please feel free to reach out to us thank you